chapter 3, Mishnah 7. The Mishnah now discusses which structures are considered like a house in regard to setting the Meisner obligation. Hunters' huts, field sheds, and summer huts are not subject, i.e. they do not set the Meisner obligation for produce that is brought into them. These structures are not like regular houses, even if someone lives in them, because they are not made to be lived in permanently. A, a Ginosaur hut, a hut that farmers of the Ginosaur region stay in during the season, even if it has a mill and chickens in it, is not subject because it is not a permanent dwelling. The rule for a potter's hut, which is a two-room hut in which a potter would live, work, and sell his products, is as follows. The inner room, which serves as his residence, is subject because it is a home, but the outer room, which serves as his workshop and where he sells his products, is not subject to the obligation because it is not a residence. Thus, produce brought into the outer room may still be eaten as a snack, but produce brought into the inner room may not. Rabbi Yossi says, any structure that is not fit to be used both as a summer home and a winter home is not subject, and a potter's inner room is not fit to be used as a home in the, the winter. Thus, even produce brought into the inner room may be eaten as a snack, according to Rabbi Yossi. A sukkah used for the festival of Sukkot during the festival is, sub, is the subject of a dispute. Rabbi Yehuda considers it subject to the obligation, whereas the sages do not consider it subject.